Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update as we move into the weekend. My first stop is up at Loveland Ski Area, Continental Divide. It has been snowing lightly. They picked up a couple of inches of new snow up there at Loveland. You can see the lift running down into the snow. I've got a couple more coming tonight in the Saturday morning for Loveland, um, but potentially bigger snow, several inches coming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe even beyond. Uh, next week with um, a couple different storm systems that could impact Colorado. So the bigger snow would come next week, but this is nice to see a refreshing uh, little snow. Let me take you into my bullet points here. So looking at three storm systems in total between now and 429. The number two storm looks pretty good for Colorado. Like I, I mentioned yesterday, it could develop into like a southern Colorado, Albuquerque low type um, setup. And if that does happen, it pushes pretty good snow um, into the mountains, especially right on top of the Continental Divide and east, all the way down towards Raton Pass and, and potentially into um, Taos and Angel Fire. So we'll look at that coming up. The third storm is, is interesting. It's going to drop straight north to south. A uh, little retrograding action going on. So I'll show you what that looks like, and then we'll get a high pressure into uh, May 1st. So let me just take you into, I'll take you back here and show you what I wrote about this morning. ChrisTomer.com. So forecast wind, freezing level, and snow. Um, I did look at some wind forecast here. I did Quandary Peak in Colorado, maximum summit gust here. You can see the numbers. Pretty windy day today on Longs as well at 60, and then the numbers drop way off. I looked at Mount Superior in Utah, um, at maximum summit gusts. I also put snow amounts on there, um, and this would be relevant to Alta, Snowbird, Big Cottonwood Canyon as well. And I've got four to eight inches um, this afternoon, tonight, into tomorrow morning. Uh, another one to two tomorrow, and then another four to eight coming on Monday and there could be you know some snow beyond that as well so we're looking really good um, the pattern it just doesn't want to quit I looked at the freezing levels the max and mins each day so you can see where it starts in the morning and where it ends up in the afternoon the Wasatch right there um, things warm up 23 24 you can see that so for example the maximum level of the 32 degree line in the afternoon is 10-2. At night, it falls back to 8,000. In Colorado Central Mountains, uh, cold today, um, the freezing level all the way down to 5,400 and up to 7,500 this afternoon. So we're looking at pretty low snow levels for sure. Um, then it jumps, it warms, 23 and 24. There's the forecast pattern. And this pertains to what I was talking about earlier, and I'll take this full. This is on the 30th, so 28, 29, 30, there's this interesting low that drops straight north to south through Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and into Colorado. And you can see, you can see the, the dip in the jet, that trough a dip supporting an area of low pressure right over Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. Eventually that would move away, and then you see the big ridge of high pressure over the Pacific Northwest and West Coast. That would then move in into May 1st. All right, back here, I want to take a look at forecast timing, forecast radar and satellite. So here it is Saturday morning. You can still see some snow sliding through Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, and then we're done with it. Here comes the next storm into the Pacific Northwest, begins to move into the interior, and that also drops snow down through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and then becomes a southern Colorado low. Look at that deep snow down through Taos and southern Colorado. Um, that, uh, that's the end of it there, Wednesday, 426 at 11 p.m. And then beyond that, 28, 29, 30, there's a, the low that's going to drop straight down out of Canada through Montana, Wyoming, Utah and Colorado. All right, my forecast totals. I'll take these full so you can see these. Um, so 421 through 423, um, there's the snow that's going to hit the Wasatch, another four up in the Tetons, and potentially up to six inches in Colorado. All right, now the second period. This is 424 to 430, another four or more in the Wasatch, could be more. Um, two at a minimum for the Tetons, probably more. And in Colorado, now this is the combination of that southern low plus the one that's going to drop in from the north. We could be looking at a foot, maybe more in some locations, um, especially right up on top of the Continental Divide, north to south, less as you were to go west. And you can see the numbers drop way off across the western slope. Um, so this is going to be really interesting. Um, it will depend on where the low develops and then whether or not that third low stays on track. But look at the numbers down in Taos. It could be a foot or more with that southern 
that southern low that develops. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the weekend update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Have a great Friday.